So if I had 1k, I would take it all and put it into any cover store. Somebody else might be more hesitant to invest all the money that he has in the bank into one single venture. I'll start with uh, Fulfillment by Amazon. In my opinion, it's the best combination of an easy business to start with a business that has big potential to scale. Amazon has huge potential, but it requires that initial investment of anywhere from $1,000 to $4,000, depending on how much inventory you want to get, depending on how many ads you want to run. There are many ways to do it, but generally uh, you're gonna need about $1,000 at minimum, that probably. First of all, you have to take advantage of all the traffic that's inside of Amazon. Amazon has their own ad platform, so you can run ads inside of Amazon. You don't need to go outside of it yet. So unless you are making less than $100,000 a month on Amazon, uh, I don't see any point to bother about Facebook ads or Google ads. If you check the Alexa rank, you probably get tens of millions of visitors every month. There is no traffic problem with Amazon. You don't have a random website that nobody knows. Amazon has already traffic. Why try to get more of what you have already? I would say that 99% of people who do Amazon buy the products from Alibaba. So yes. that's where you start from and then there are more elaborate ways to get suppliers, but there's no need to bother with that when you're a beginner. I'll tell you a story about a friend whom I advise the very exact same thing I told you right now about starting an Amazon business. That was back in the summer of 2017. I traveled with that guy to Las Vegas and New York and Lithuania. We went to some masterminds and he was trying to figure out what business model he should go into. He had money um, saved in his bank, probably around 10k back then. So he had the capital to invest. And I was like, start an Amazon business for the reasons I told you before. He was like, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, um, it's risky and what if I lose my money? He was a very risk averse person. So I was like, okay, you don't wanna invest $3,000 into your Amazon business, start Shopify, that's easier. You don't have to buy inventory. You may only have to run some ads on Facebook and you probably don't even have to run ads. You can just use influencer marketing on Instagram, which is free. So do that. And he was like, mm, I'm not sure. And then he visited me. Um, in my city and stayed at my house for a couple of weeks because we were about to go to a trip to, to the States together. So while he was a visitor at my house, um, one day I remember he was sitting at the sofa and doing work at his computer and I just walked past him while going to the kitchen. I looked over my shoulder to see what he was doing and I see a Shopify store with baby accessories and I'm like, why are you buying baby accessories? Did you did you leave some girl pregnant? And he's like, no, I'm building a Shopify store like you told me. And I'm like, why, why baby accessories? Why? 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 What has this to do with you as a man? Baby accessories? What kind of man is interested in baby accessories? And he was like, um, I don't know. Why did you pick that? He, he couldn't answer it. And then one week later, he stopped. <laughs> so what he did was he was very impulsive, started an idea about baby exercise without even thinking about it, without even sitting down for one, two, three days and analyzing what his options are and thinking what his interests are and using some critical thinking to consider which niche to choose. He was very impulsive and then because he, he didn't get any results, obviously, in one week, doing something that you don't have any interest in, he didn't get any results and he quit. 